miracle has happened, an actual miracle. Yeah, 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 silly girl. Good morning, guys. A miracle has happened, an actual miracle, and this is it. The kids got out of the car today and went down to get their horses. They weren't like, Mom, come with me. They just went. So I don't know what happened, but over the course of one night, they just let me stay here and they're doing it themselves. I'm so excited for today. Anyway, basically, I asked if Sophie could have a lesson on Stella because we can't stop her. A lot of you guys are freaking out because Sophie pulled back on the reins and what you guys don't know and didn't get to see was that Stella is blowing through the bit, like constantly blowing through the bit. Sophie does all the cues. She's a little bit more strong. Um, she sits deep. She closes her knees. She blows out. She does all the things. And Stella's like, no. And she just keeps going. She doesn't even slow down. So then Sophie slowly pulls on the, on the, on the reins and she still doesn't even slow down. The thing that you guys are seeing is her saying, finally, stop it now. Whether it's right or wrong um, we can't have a horse that we can't stop and that's what Sophie's um, getting stressed out about it and we just need a little bit of help to figure her out it happened with Sabrina all of her horses we never were able to stop because she doesn't really recognize us as the boss of her right yet we need to work on it and that's okay Sophie's gonna be sad but I'm running Stella today I'm running Stella um, so that I can learn on her. So right now we're not doing like a full lesson because obviously she's not really fit yet, but um, we need some, we need to learn some things like how to manage certain behaviors that she has. Oh, I see them. Is it just me or do you guys get excited when you see like a little creature up close and personal? We rescued a chipmunk once. And he's completely blind and my friend has him and has been raising him his whole life. There come my babies. That's what our instructor said. She's like, she just wants to like cuddle into you. See how attentive she is to Sophie? And Storm's just like, doo dee doo dee doo. <laughs> He's also like, oh my God, there's a fly. Quick, smack it. <laughs> he does not like flies. Poor boy. This girl. <laughs> See, that's totally Sophie. Sophie's just as cuddly as Stella is. See how she just walks all cuddled up to you? Sabrina used to do that with her head underneath your armpit and it was because she was afraid. Stella does it just for the love. How was he? How was he? Apparently everybody in our family likes calm, nice horses. <laughs> yes, he's so calm. Yeah. He's so calm. Such a good boy as you are. Mm -hmm. Best horse I've ever seen. Yeah, he's the best horse I've ever seen too. Other than Secretariat when I've seen Secretariat. You saw Secretariat? Yeah. Oh, hey Stella. She's so sweet. She's like, there's my girl. Did you guys notice this about Stella? I don't know if you can see, but it looks like she's got a piano on her one heel, on her one foot. Which one on the piano? Okay, let's yeah. check her. See? See it? Looks like she's got piano notes on there. Look, her feet. Uh, let's look at her feet. But I can't see because you're standing in the light. Did you did you hoof pick her? Nope. Oh, you got a hoof picker quick before your lesson. I don't do hoof picking. Uh, come on, hoof picker. Your turn to learn. No, come on. All right, fine, I'll learn. Teach me, sister. I'm lost. I still have Gabby's lesson before me. 
So hoof picking is my least favorite thing. I know how to do it. Let me do it. I'm going to try it and see if it's better on her. I hated it on Sabrina because she used to lean on me. I'm going to try it on Stella. All right, Stella. Oh, what a nice girl you are. That is so much better. Yeah. Her back feet are little worms because it's like she's going to get you. Look how good she is. Her back feet is like she's going to kick you, but right. you just need to pull it out and she's relaxed. I never know where to go. Oh. You shouldn't be, you using, like shouldn't be wearing a purse when you're hoof picking. Yeah, purse is at the barn. She knows she has to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Aww, oh, look at that. Nice girl she, is. she just gave you her foot. Yeah, she's like, here, take it. She is really experienced. She's a really experienced horse, man. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, experienced horse with a big butt. Just like me. He's the big one. Uh oh. Yeah. So you gotta stand properly. Oh. You gotta grab the bottom of it. I do not like it. I think so. Give me this foot, Stella. Here. Mom, you don't do that. I want See where the feathers are? Yeah. Pull that up on her. Well, okay. no, I don't. Yes. Uh, See? Uh. Okay, Stella, listen. I don't like it either. Mom, you need to pull it out. Uh. Not that better. Yeah. The reason I don't like it is it's part of my back. Yeah. Got hardly any hoof yeah. there. Oh, now I'm dead. Tap and say, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, I love her. Isn't she like the best? I know lots of horses do that, but Stella or Sabrina never did that. Meanwhile, over in the quiet zone, the storm. You don't even know he's here. Doesn't kick, doesn't throw fits. It's like Abby. Oh yeah, that's right. Do you ever throw fits? Yeah. Yeah. So you have some differences. Actually, he does throw fits. I said he's over here quiet, never throws fits, but he does throw fits. If Gabby says, do this, he'll say no. And then she'll say, do it. And he'll say, fine. Kind of like you. Fine. There we go with the kissing. Everybody, can you feel the groove? Grab somebody, let it go. Ooh. Everybody, can you feel the groove? Grab somebody, let it go. Ooh. Everybody, grab somebody. Open your outside rein. Yeah, see the difference? So what you're doing is you're opening one door and closing the other. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Same with your legs. You open one door and close the other. It might be a better visual for you. Uh, correct. Walk over to the dark brown poles and change direction. Now your left leg and rein is going to close. Your right rein and leg are going to open. You're going left, you're going left, you're going left. You're afraid of everything. You didn't even jump on the last Nothing. Yes, you're good, honey.
got me feeling You got me feeling alright Whenever I'm around you Lean back, lift your hands up and ask her to walk Good Good Walk Why? She might be fat, but she's not lazy. No. You make me feel so Up over the light brown and down over the dark brown. White, light brown, dark brown. Use as much of the ring as possible and look straight ahead. Not to the wall, go straight, straight to the end. So that was not a straight line. You kind of looked like you were drunk. Now go deep, go through the corner, do not turn until after the corner. Sheet in the corner. Or ignore me completely. Walk. Pull back. Yep. I sound so mean when I'm sick. Okay, go this way. And you're going to go through the entire corner before you turn to go over the brown one. Do not leave the rail until you're going to go directly across it. Pull her back and make her walk. If you're not going to get strong with her, then she's just going to do whatever she wants, whenever she wants. That's okay, you missed the brown one, but that's fine, you walked. Go into the next corner and turn and go across the dark brown ones. Make her walk. Yes. Remember to lean back and lift your hand. up to the corner. When you get to the wall, I'd like you to ask her to stop. Feet forward, lean back, lift your hands. I actually like the back, though. Yeah, so you can move. I like it, though. Yeah, she's so easy to get moving. Yeah, but I like moving. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying, like, am I going to get to move? <laughs> I lean back. And stop. Hands up. And walk forward. Like a job, no, not a trot. Don't even let her get going fast. No, because she'll get a little sore. I know, but I don't know she's turning around. So Who's down. driving? Is her oh, oh, she's turning around back there. A little bit. Yeah, see, no matter how much I'm pulling and pushing, she's, she's pulling against me. She's, she's saying, stronger. I want to go home now. I want to go home already? Pull it out harder. Lift that left hand. Yeah. See the difference? Okay, so rumor has it on. So just a little jog down the wall and then walk. Lean back. Slow her down. Slow her down. And walk. And walk. So part of this is making her listen too, right? No? She's not strong. Because when she does listen, you're barely touching her. It's a matter of getting yourself positioned properly. You can't ask her down here. She runs away from you. Oh, it's nice, 
You have to put yourself in the right position and then she listens. Okay. See how, put, so when you did it over here, you just looked at yourself and she stopped. Right no, now? Uh, so look what you're doing though. You're caving. Stay right where you are. Don't move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Say what you were doing. Who you're doing again. You're you're here. You're caving. Bring your shoulder back. Lift your hand. Sit on the bottom. Lean back. There. That's what you're going to break your car. Elevate the bottom and sit behind your back. You teach a dog how to sit and lift the treat over your nose, right? Yeah. Push the bum down. Same concept. You want her to stop? Front end up and sit the bum down. Okay, I'm trying this. Is she having a thing in English? Uh huh. Or French, whatever. She's French. So, it's her. Lean back. Lift the front end up and then stop. Yeah, so he is going to learn to stop Stella. Stop, Sophie, stop Stella. All right, on board. I like riding her. She's one of my favorite horses I've ridden so far, and all I've done is walk her. I can't wait to canter her. What I want you to think about when you ask her to stop, you're going to push your boots forward, you're going to lean your shoulders back. You're going to lean your lazy butt. Shoulders. shoulders. Yep. You're going to lift your hands up, and you're going to pull your elbows straight back. See? Just like that. And she should stop. Now, if you do that and she keeps walking, pull harder. And breathe. As soon as she stops, then you're going to release. So it's your shoulders you're pulling back, not your hands. Elbows. Elbows. Shoulders and elbows. You lean back with your shoulders, pull back with your elbows. Not your hands. Should make sure they're equal, honey. We've got the rainbow reins on, so you should be able to hold the same spot. That's good. When you go into the corner, you're going to open your outside rein up towards the wall. Way out towards the wall. Yeah. There you go. Good job. Once you get past the door, she's going to want to stop here. You're going to get past the door first. Your rear rear needs to be a little shorter. Good. Now lean back. Elbows bent. Hands up. Good. She doesn't walk forward until you ask her to. She should be able to stand there for 10 years. All right. Good. We're going to teach her that standing still is not a bad thing. It's an okay thing to do. Okay, let's ask her to stop again. Lean back, hands up, elbows. That was beautiful. She's better than me. And walk on. I think because I'm bigger, I'd be better and learn faster, but it's not true. The biggest thing is when you get a horse that pulls on your instant reaction is to lean forward and put her hands down. Yeah. And that just sends her forward. That's not helping at all. Yeah, that makes sense. And stop, lean back, hands up. Beautiful, and walk on. I'll let her walk her down to the barn with the bridle. Yeah. And make her stop a couple times. Yeah. And stop. Good. So it's like, this is boring. Let's go. And walk. And I want you to do a little jog, slow. Go ahead. Just a little click and she'll go. That's it. Yeah. One. Bye, See you later, kiddo. Yeah, you can just sit there. Good. And stop. Very nice. All right, we are headed down. I don't know if I should be holding on to her or if I should let Sophie do it. I'm going to sit bum back. You're going like that. And then, okay, and then when you're ready to go, tell her. 
When you're ready to go, tell her to go. You need to have a short one. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the reins. Slow her down if she gets too fast. It's all up to you. And look at this, you guys. Our girl is actually walking, kind of. Slow her down if you want her to slow down. I got a lead rope just in case. Remember the other day, I'm like, suck it up, Sophie. She's just going fast, but that was all wrong. I'm sorry, Sophie. I didn't realize how hard it was. So basically, good girl. Now pet her. Good girl. Oh, don't let her go. Good girl. So you guys missed? Okay. Good girl. All right, let's go. You have to let go as soon as she stops so she doesn't get confused. See, she's anxious to go. She wants to go back to the barn. But she has to go at our speed. So another thing Fiona suggested is if I lead her. Right, we did it, you guys. We got to almost to the jump off point. We're supposed to jump off just up here by the tree where the sunny spot is there. And so... We're teaching her some manners, so don't yeah. get mad. Yeah, we're teaching her to that we're the boss. Sure. And we I go by at our speed. And I make her. And she's so good. Like it's it's just us, obviously. Like we're we not. I'm so she's Yeah. And she's and going, I'm Yeah, see? She's so good. We're really happy with Stella. Like we you know, you buy a horse and never know what you're really getting. And we're really happy with her. Like yeah. 100% we took a chance on her and because it was an educated chance and um, because we conferred with our farrier and our vet and our instructor was there um, It turned out so good. I said now halt and she halted good and I said now slow and she went Yeah, slow. she does understand and words fast and she went All right, she's a now fast horse though slow. like the thing that's different about her than the other two horses is yeah. that We even think about going and she's like, let's do it Right, so we are at the trailer altering place. This place that Sam took our horse trailer to actually makes trailers, so uh, that's why we took it here because we want it modified. And it's been here for two weeks, and they're supposed to like assess it, tell us how much it's going to cost, and then Sam will say yes, do it or not. It's been two weeks, and they've never ever called us to say, hey, this is your estimate. So I said, Sam, we need to go there, and I said, Sam in, and they said, come back with good answers or else I'll go in because sometimes I feel like men don't get the job done the way that women do. So we're headed out to the trailer now and we have Molly on Rocky. and we are stopping to get some ice cream to take with us. Rocky Road. I hate Rocky Road. Right so we are this is what shopping would be like with three kids. It's vanilla. It's my favorite kind. It's crackle. crackle. It's what? It's vanilla ice cream with chocolate fudge chunks in it. Mm, that looks that mm, sounds I don't good. Like vanilla ice cream. I love vanilla ice cream. Right, Laura's getting a lesson on blowing up the big unicorn floaty so she can see how difficult it is. And there she is. Blowing up the unicorn floaty. How's it going? Good. You gotta do the bottom first. Right, you guys know how men and women do things differently. Well, one way that people do things differently is that when we used the unicorn the other day, it takes forever to blow up. It's like a swimming pool. It's like thick material. I would never have taken it down, but because uh, it's a lot of work to put up. So now I'm in charge and well, Sam's helping me blow it up because like, that's the thing about women is that we get in charge and then we're like, oh, I can't do it anymore, can you help? But anyway, maybe that's just me. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave this sucker up and I'm gonna use it for this whole week and maybe even the whole summer because why spend that much money on something you can never use because it's too much work? I'm gonna leave it up till it dies. Okay, we're playing magical spot. Okay. Sophie, you could go over here. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Let's go to the beach. We did it, you guys. We were figuring it out. Yay! Basically, we could not do it. Area, it's so huge. Till we decided to all get underneath. Oh, Sam. <laughs> yeah, Sam's at the front leading us. Just following his feet. I can't reach it. Ah, my neck is breaking. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have a sore neck after this. Oh, I wonder how much this thing weighs. It's heavy. Over 30 
Right. It is in. There's no way we're going to be able to do it without Sam here. Get some rocks for the anchor. Looks warm. Is it warm? When it undoes, it just goes flying across the lake. <laughs> they probably like it better flying across the lake. There were some little kids sitting over here and we just came charging toward them. I'm like, look out! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. It's Sophie and Ruby to the, whoa. Watch, watch. Whoa, just so you guys know, Ruby does love to jump with the girls. Do you think Ruby likes to jump? Yes. Ruby, whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> I did not. I touched it. I missed this jump. That's good. good whoa. Girl. Sophie, how come you're not jumping? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> There's springs on that dog.